It's Thanksgiving morning. As always, I am getting to do a run. This morning, I am doing a time trial turkey trot 10K. So I was supposed to do it tomorrow, but in all honesty, I don't want to be thinking about it all day today, especially when I want to be eating turkey and pies, watching football. So I'm, I'm doing it today, even though I did like a really long run. We're just going to see what today gives. So kind of my A, B, and C goal is is to do it under 40 minutes. So that's a 625 pace or a little bit faster than that. We'll see. I'll probably be fine mile three, maybe mile four, but mile five and six, we'll see if I start like dying completely. The good news is this isn't like a formal race. This is just me doing it around my neighborhood loop. So even if I blow up on mile five and can't finish it, you know, whatever. I've got my magic shoes here, the magic uh, alpha fly makes percent. So I am ready to rock and roll. Oh, and uh, Johnny's coming over. Johnny and I are here. We're going to go torture ourselves a little bit before... Uh, what are you eating today for Thanksgiving? Typical Pies. turkey, stuffing, yeah. you know, that, that good old, good stuff. We're going to earn it today. Yeah, we're, we're going to earn, earn it today. Oh, today. boy. All right, you, you ready to go torture <laughs> ourselves? Let's go. Let's do it. So um, this is your life as the wife of a triathlete, basically sitting in the car for 40 minutes. It's pretty fun though, honestly. It's pretty cool to see them running fast. They're definitely the fastest in the loop today, but I don't think anyone else is really trying. You know, you don't want to pull a muscle and then eat some turkey. Here's Mike coming in, I think towards the end. Uh, sorry, the GoPro broke, so. So you are okay. done? Yeah. So How I think was it? Uh, it wasn't as painful as the 5K I did last year. Oh, that's Because the 5K last year, my For average heart rate. Yeah. Okay. The, my average heart rate was a uh, was a uh, 180. Yeah. Uh, this year, I looked at I looked at my heart rate at the end. It was a 173. So uh, probably had a lot to do with the magic shoes. Oh yeah, the magic but, shoes. Oh my gosh. It's funny. You're sweating. I'm like shivering out here. My hands are freezing <laughs> at the beginning, but yeah, it's like okay. to cool down. Yeah. You go do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we finished with the race. I uh, was really happy with my time. So I did a uh, 38, I think 16, which was a uh, 610 uh, per mile pace. Really good, really happy about that. Johnny, he uh, he's really injured. <laughs> So he shouldn't have been running anyway. He was nice enough to, to run with me so I wasn't running by myself Thanksgiving morning. But he did about four miles and then his knee was just was just killing him so he had to stop. Otherwise, what would have happened is he would have run with me the whole way and then he would have out sprinted me at the end just because he's way, way stronger than I am. Also, thanks to my wife for filming us. So I've not had a chance to look at a whole lot of like third party view from me running. What's funny is that I feel like I'm doing this but in reality it looks like I'm doing this I'm really motivated about my progression with running now I obviously do mostly triathlon but at this time of year I always train for a marathon, which is what I'm doing now. What's cool is um, this time last year, I was running about 20 seconds uh, per mile slower. So 20 seconds over a year is like, is huge. Most of my runs are zone one runs. So for a heartbeat, it's about 135 
to 145 beats per minute. So last year I was doing about an eight minute pace in that, that zone one, and this year I'm doing about a 740 pace in that zone one. And what's even cooler is, I was actually looking back, I, I rarely do 10Ks. Uh, the last one I did was three years ago, it was actually three years ago on Thanksgiving Day as well. And I look back there, I wasn't wearing a heart rate monitor then, I just kind of started, I think I started running about a year before that. I, w I did like, a, I want to say like a 750 mile, and I remember I was like gassed at the end. So my heart rate was probably what it was now at the end of this 10K. So doing a 750 pace three years later, doing a 610 pace, I think that is substantial gains. I want to say that like all of you can do this if you're struggling with running, with uh, just, just working out. If you just started working out, just hold on. Trust in the process. You will get faster, I promise you. When I first started running four years ago, it started out doing a 12 and a half minute pace, and now it's almost four years later, and I'm doing like a uh, like a 740 minute pace. It's kind of uh, the the progression there. Obviously, that first year that you start running, although your your body and your legs hate you because it's like, what are you doing to me? I thought we had this agreement that you know you weren't going to try to kill me, and I was going to let you live a little bit longer. But anyway, so that first year kind of sucks because you do feel a lot injured and everything like that. But uh, your your pace goes substantially down that first year. And then you're making these uh, incremental changes. So overall, you can do this. Stay true to the process. Don't get frustrated. Make sure you're not running too fast. Keep 80% of the time in that Z1, maybe low Z2 running, and then 20% of the time Z4, Z5, and you're going to see huge gains throughout the years. All right, that's it. Always uh, get up and try, and I hope you have a great day.